If you follow Storage Review, you know that we love the SSDs from Dapu Store. They are always really high performing and they never let us down in the lab. That continues to be the case as we take a look at their latest H5100, which is a Gen 5 SSD. Inside this SSD is the latest controller from Marvell, their latest Gen 5, the latest TLC NAND from Keoxia, their Bix 8, and the firmware is from Dapu Store themselves, taking each one of those components and putting together a drive that they can control in terms of delivering the best quality of service and latency available in a Gen 5 part. Now, the astute eye will notice that this server has these very small drives in it. These are the E3.S form factor. The E3.S form factor is part of the EDSFF grouping of drives, which includes a variety of different form factors. They all use the same interface, though, that delivers really great signal integrity, ensuring that these drives are stable and available, delivering the IOPS and the throughput they promise. As we take a look at this Supermicro server, what is really important about E3S then is that in one U, we can fit 16 NVMe drives, all Gen 5. And at Gen 5, that means read speeds of 14,000 megabytes a second at the high end and writes of 9,500 megabytes a second at the high end too. So when we look at a 1U server that used to be limited to 10, maybe 12 drives, when you look at the 15 millimeter U.2 form factor, with these really skinny E3S drives, we're now up to 16, which already is a massive jump in overall performance of a single U server like this. That's really important for hyperscalers. If you look at the OCP audience at what Meta's doing, for instance, they're using the E1S drives quite a bit. There's all sorts of new features that are coming to those drives too that are tuned for hyperscale workloads like flexible data placement, FDP, which lets them have more control over where data is placed, how it's accessed in the drive, reducing overall write amplification. For the enterprise though, it'll be this E3S or the U.2, which is the more traditional form factor that'll be the most popular. The one thing that the U.2 drive gets you is additional uh, capacity because this just has a single board inside with this real skinny Z height. The 15 mil U.2 lets you sandwich two together. So Dapu Store is able to get up to 30.72 terabytes in those drives. The decision tree really then comes down to for enterprise workloads, do you want the density of drives for overall performance or do you want high density drives for overall capacity? Dapu Store offers both. There's lots of choices for those. Coming back to the server for a minute, there are a lot of components in here that pair with the drives to deliver a really great efficient package. And it's not just the density in one U that's important, it's the overall power consumption of the system. As we take a look inside, it's handy that Supermicro has included their uh, clear air shroud so we can see everything at play. This system is just using a single AMD processor, which actually is perfect for this build. It's enough power to let the drives run at full speed without the complexity of a dual processor system and the extra thermals, the heat, the power that that consumes. With this system, Supermicro has what we think is one of the best layouts for a dense 1U platform for software-defined storage. As we continue to look at the core components in here, one thing that stands out is this GPU in the back. This is actually Grade Technology Supreme RAID GPU RAID card. And what they do, we've talked about it a number of times, but they use an NVIDIA GPU to handle all the RAID management, taking a lot of that load off of the CPU that would be traditionally there with any software RAID type solution. What's important to know here though, is that that's the card that's aggregating these 16 drives up front and giving us tremendous performance. We've got loads of performance data. We'll link to that in the description of this video so you can check all of that out. But here's what you need to know at the high level. With Grade Supreme RAID running these 16 drives, we're able to see over 205 gigabytes a second in this platform. That's with large block reads. So that's tremendous amount of performance. And that performance persists all the way through the data that we presented from this system. And that's all the way down to 4K random read where we saw 75 gig a second. And that performance persists through all of the workloads we looked at all the way down to 4K random read where we saw about 74 gig a second with over 18 million IOPS. So this system in a dense one new platform is ready to work regardless of what your workload is. Small block, big block, anything in between, random, it's all there. Again, we've got all that data in the full report linked to in the description. One other thing though that's important to understand about this platform 
is that Supermicros designed this with two OCP slots in the back of the system. And that means that depending on what you want to do with this platform, you could put two high-speed NICs in the back, 100 gig, 200 gig. Now we've got 400 gig NICs in that OCP configuration. You can get two of them in here, like I said, and now share up to 80 gig a second out of the box. So it's not just the big numbers in the box that are critical, it's the ability to get that out of the box as well. And because this platform can be paired up with any software, you've got a world of options to choose from, again, depending on what your workload is. There's a whole world of HPC and AI use cases out there where a slim 1U box like this can feed a number of GPUs with these high-speed 7.68 terabyte E3S SSDs, again, pumping out 80 gigs a second over a pair of 400 gig NICs. And that ability to push storage quickly over Ethernet is really foundational to using something like this as a cache server, getting your data loaded in so that you can fuel the GPU servers. If we've seen anything lately with these big eight-way or even the add-in card GPU servers is that they typically don't have a lot of slots for Gen 5 high-speed storage. And even if they did, you don't always want your storage in the GPU boxes it locks you into just that one system. A super dense, power efficient, high performance box like this gives you so much flexibility when using it as an AI cache or fueling multiple servers on a fabric. With this performance profile, we continue to be impressed with Adapu storage drives. We've always liked them, we continue to like them. In fact, we had 16 of these in here testing way before a lot of big brands even announced their Gen 5 products. So Dapu Store has been well ahead of the curve when it comes to delivering high performance, next-gen technology. Like I said, they're leveraging best-in-class uh, controller from Marvell, NAND from Keoxia. Their firmware and engineering on top really makes this an amazing solution. Full report here, like I said, I'll link to that in the description, but check out Dapu Store if you want to be on the leading edge of what's next for enterprise storage.